What's up, Scrollgers? That's a Nerp here, and today I'm on my alt account, my Smurf account, Nerp the Ninja. My main account is NRP123. It's at number one with a 1906 rating, so I don't really want to play ranked when I really have uh, nothing to gain but all to lose. Uh, so I'll just sit there on top and play with my second account here. I think it's in the top 100, right? Um, should be. Yep, right there. Oh, top 50. Wow. I just, it was, like, had, like, a zero rating or somewhere below 1,000 a day or two ago. But now I just started playing a bunch with this and just ranking up with Automaton. It's very easy uh, for me to rank up when I'm in the low ranks. Uh, because the fact of the matter is I'm facing usually players that are much worse than me. Um, it's unfortunate that... Uh, I just beat them like that, but I'm just very bored. Uh, I want to play scrolls, but I don't want to play. I want to play competitive scrolls, but I don't want to play on my main account and lose my lose my uh, ranking. So I did send myself over like fifty thousand gold to this account um, and build, and I built the same automaton deck that I did a deck guide on yesterday. So I'll just tack this on to uh, the description of that video as another one of the another one of the selected gameplay footage of it. Get rid of the match needed. I actually just had a really awesome Automaton match. Uh, I, I was in Automatons this deck. I was against Demi Remy's. Um, Demi Remy's, what you call it? Uh, it was eager to battle de decay growth or eager to battle growth with like a yeah, decay growth because there's a no ID that gets you the slayer siege stuff like that. Uh, but it was a really close game, and it looked like I was gonna lose, but I got like a quick win um, with a battle dance and a thunder surge in the same turn. Speaking of battle dance, we're gonna sacrifice that, and I will go ahead and burn this turn. Pretty easy choice. I'm gonna burn this guy. Those are pretty strong in tempo order. They really increase your attack. This guy is a problem. He's going to have a huge attack because I'm going to play lots of automatons. So, yeah. We're going to have to find some way to deal with him. I'm going to get rid of the forge here. And I'm not sure what I want to play. The problem with the Excogitator is he can just move down. And he's going to be able to destroy it. So, I'm going to play the Blast Auto. He could still probably destroy it, but... Whatever. I'd love to start pumping that Godgitator, but uh, the Thunder Surge next turn is probably what I'm going to play. So I wouldn't even pump it yet. So he's just going to go ahead and get Dominion. Interesting. Chandy is... Which went hard for that Dominion. Wow. I hate to sacrifice Ekamaton versus uh, Order, but uh, looks like that's what I'm going to do here. And I'm actually going to hold off on the Thunder Surge. I'm going to sacrifice an Ekamaton for Scrolls, and now I'll play the Excog. And I'm actually going to play it up here. So he does have Dominion now, so that tells me he... What is he going to do? Double favored? He's going to play a Wings Cleaver. I don't have a uh, anything to really deal with that right now. Um, I will just Thunder Surge here. I'm going to get rid of that. And now I need to find a burn. He probably has a Blessing of Haste or something. Hopefully he doesn't. Perfect draw next turn. I draw a burn and then I can also pump by Excogitator. This is not the position you want to be in against Tempo Order. Because he could just deal so much damage so fast. Okay, so I will get an Excogitator now. Yes, that was a lucky top deck. I'll burn you. I'm not going to go... I can't, I can't play another burn. It's impossible. Now, this is a tough choice. Copper Automaton is really good. Do I pump this? Or do I play the Canister and Copper? Let's get rid of this Forge. I'm going to move, to, move up, actually. 
and I will pump. Yeah, pumping seems like a fine play. You're getting a creature with armor, so you know, it's solid. And he just needs some kind of one attack buff to destroy this blast on him, song, which I'm not too happy with, but I kind of have to, had to move up and engage, so it looks like he is going to destroy that, but I am going to probably be able to pump this X-Cog again. Let's find a Thunder Surge, please. Yeah, Thunder Surge would hurt a lot for him. Uh, Wind-Up Automaton. If I pay for 5, this is going to come into play with 3 attack. Let's get rid of the Echomaton. 3 canisters. You know what, that's pretty good. I am going to pump though. What I'll do is I will destroy this. And then I'll put a copper automaton. Back here. So I'm almost giving up the idol down here. Which is not not that wise. But he is top decking. And I'd like to find more burns. I already used two burns already though. So this is definitely an uphill battle. Relaras and I don't think he's going to have enough attack to be able to destroy the the copper automaton on the back. So I will be able to destroy something with that. I could just go straight up with three canister automatons next turn. And all his units are melee creatures, and all, and almost all of them have less than four attack, four health. So, canister automatons would probably stop Chandy. Preferably, I can top like a thunder surge though. Also, part of me wants to just pump up that X cog. Chances are, I'm gonna double pump the X cog if it survives this turn, and play a, a canister automaton. So since I've been playing this Automaton deck a lot recently, I'll try to tone back the videos of it now and play some other decks on my channel. Um, now that the deck guides out and everything. But fact of the matter is still the, probably the strongest deck. Oh, actually, um, there is now... Uh... Okay, so he is going to destroy that row. I mean, it's kind of wasting a bunch of damage, but it's not too bad. Uh, I think I'm going to double pump and just play a canister, yeah. This is dangerous. Very dangerous. Maybe I shouldn't have sacrificed that scout. And a canister. We'll see if he wants to destroy the scat or not. Um, if he runs two decimations in his deck, yeah, he might just. Okay. Now he wins with two decimations. And there's an expedition guard. Okay, let's, let's see, a, a wind-up automaton with haste is going to cost five, and then I can play both of those as well. So let's do that. Let's play the wind-up. That costs that. I'm gonna finally not play anything there. What I will do, and I'm going to protect down here too. He might be able to win the game. But we'll, we'll find out, I guess. 
those three, uh, the three butchers. I have the three butchers on my side the other day. I won't be too upset if we lose this game, though. It's on my uh, Smurf account, and I'm very low rated. That's only like I'm below 1,700, so it's not gonna be not gonna be devastating. And it's always good to have some losses on my channel. Almost all my rank match videos, I win. Okay, good. He didn't play anything. Awesome. Now, Potion Resistance is an awesome scroll, but I can't play it because I can't sacrifice that. Uh, this is interesting. If I Thunder Surge and pump this and pay three energy, you would not do anything extra. Alright, we're gonna start by definitely doing this. You're gonna take that out. And I have to potency burst something. Problem with potency bursting this is it doesn't die. But I'm still gonna do it because I have to get rid of that thing somehow. So he could still win this turn just by with a flip busting of haste. Or a flip burst beam potion, or maybe a pother. Um, and he still can do it with only a couple decimations. So, even if we do end up clearing his board, uh, we, we might not win. Does he have the win? I'd like him to bunch up so I can pound him with a thunder surge. That would be good. Lunch up, please. Cool, and someone connected those two guys. And that's going to give him wild, so I'd like to destroy that. And I will be able to destroy that. Alright, he's bunching up. Cool. Sacrifice that for scrolls. Battle dance. That could be a way to win later. Um, so let's just take all that out. Alright, we've pretty much cleared his board. Like, we now we have to simultaneously destroy his units that come onto the board while trying to deal as much idle damage as possible so we can win before he draws two decimations. And the scout is going to help him draw decimations faster. I like to find a mash needed. Um, I like to find copper automatons. Uh... Maybe some cannon on the ventons, because I need, I need to hit these idols. Okay. Blast automaton. Um, I don't think I'm going to really have time to pump this forge, so I'm not going to, uh, I'm going to keep the blast automaton. Uh, let's, yeah, let's power trip. I will... Should I burn this? Or I could battle dance. I kind of want to burn this so I can destroy that idol. Uh, because you're going to attack, take out that, and then I can't destroy that. Alright, so we're going to burn this. And we're not going to take out an idol this turn. And then... I'll pay three. Three there. I'll leave that idle open. I don't really think that's going to be a problem. I'll put this here. Right, it's a cleared board. Next turn, Battle Dance. Can we win? Problem is we don't have that many scout automatons on the board, so I, I doubt we'd be able to win. Maybe, though. We can bring down a copper automaton with haste with the Battle Dance and have all our units attack. So, let's see. Let's get rid of these Stone Enigma. Oh, two coppers. So we might be able to win. So, three there. Three, three, four here. And then... Or three, three, five, actually. 
and then five, three, one. Yeah, I think that's the game. I think. And this guy, let's see, that's seven, that's four, six. Okay, so we can do all this. And I have to do that first because then he'll have a lower attack. So that goes there. You guys are going to go there. And then three, five plus four plus one. Oh no, I just messed it up. I... I screwed it up, guys. I just... Why'd I move him? Wait, I, I missed... I, did I miscount? Oh no. We gave, we gave Chandy yet another turn to find a destination. I'm probably gonna be able to win this coming turn because I have another uh, battle dance. But he has a turn to sacrifice his scrolls and find two decimations. Wow, that was a that was a huge misplay that could come back to lose me the game. Uh oh, does he have like a blessing of haste? Oh my God, if he had a blessing of haste, he would have won. Holy cow! Okay. Oh boy. Now we're gonna win this. Maybe not so bad after all. I'm able to destroy an extra idol by taking a turn. Well, at least that that uh, misplay at least made the game a little more exciting towards the end. I mean, the whole game is pretty exciting. I almost lost. He just needed a couple decimations to win. Then again, I don't even know if he plays decimations, but I assume so. Why wouldn't you play decimations in several order? I might play the new faith, uh, faith, faith what? Faith blessing, I think. Also, I forgot to mention, um, balance patch and the test server, a bunch of new things, breakers really good now, stuff like that, but notably to the Automaton deck, Excogitator, uh, costs, um, almost 7 tetras now, cool. Excog costs 6 now instead of 5. It's still, uh, definitely a strong enough scroll to be in the Automaton deck, so it doesn't really change a whole lot, but it's gonna still be in the deck. I mean, it hurts it now so that you can't play it on turn 5 and then double pump to get it on turn 6. Now you have to play it on turn 6 and double to pump on turn 7. So it is a sizable nerf. And then also, Wind Up Automaton is nerfed. Uh, he only has 2 health now. Um, that's fair as well because Wind Up Automaton was, in my, my opinion, very overpowered. Uh, now he is more tame and he's easier to destroy. And he won't sit around the whole game amassing a giant attack. Uh, both these scrolls. Uh, pretty decent nerfs, but automatons were probably over the power curve already, uh, so this should fit. This should be fair, and the deck should still be strong enough. And of course, both of those scrolls are still in the deck because they're both still good. And that'll be it. So, like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more content. Make sure you check out the automaton deck guide video I posted yesterday. And uh, follow on Twitter, Twitch. I've been doing a lot of streaming. I have like. I streamed for like five hours yesterday. I have a couple VODs of that uh, on my channel, Nerp Streams. You can find it when you go to my channel and then go to the right side. Uh, so yeah, and keep on scrolling, scrollgers. I'll see you next time.